he's failing. He's asking for a little bit of help, a sure. little point in the right direction. I'm just not sure if we can help him, but I'm just looking at the economic math. If you want to make money, you go where the money is, and the money seems to be here. Now, is there any automobile-themed reality TV show fan that hasn't heard of Richard Rawlings? I don't think so. The Fast and Loud show producer had produced so many shows that have kept viewers glued to their screen, one of such is Garage Rehab, before it ended abruptly. The show premiered on Discovery Channel in 2017, after Richard convinced the channel to revolve around overhauling struggling car shops with help from his co-hosts Chris Stevens and Russell Holmes. We all enjoyed the show, no doubt, but what was the real reason the show ended? Let's find out, shall we? So this is home sweet home. This is where I spend most of my time. Holy. <laughs> Oh my god. Now, the pioneer of the show, Richard Rawlings, is a businessman and television personality known to all and sundry. Richard was born in 1969 in Texas, and with his early childhood exposure to business, he bought his first car at 14 after attending car shows and learning how to build and repair autos from his father. Richard started flipping cars at a young age, and that prompted him to marry just a few months after his college education. Richard married his childhood sweetheart, Karen Grames, but later they got divorced after a year. It was during this time that Richard started his first business, the printing and advertising company Lincoln Press, and married his second wife, Suzanne McGailey. Richard, a one-time divorcee, also divorced Suzanne in 2009, but later reconciled, tying the knot once again. After a few years, the couple just couldn't cope, and Richard announced that he was separating from his wife. The actual reason behind his divorce was not made public, but speculations about cheating have been flying around for years. Richard sold his printing business in 2001 and started something similar to his father's business, a car shop that is now known as Gas Monkey Garage. Richard opened the garage officially in 2002, and unlike other auto garages, the shop's speciality revolves around customizing hot rod and classic cars for customers around the globe. Although in recent years, the focus has shifted away from the quality of work due to well-documented workplace drama, including high staff turnover. 2012 to 2020 were golden years for Gas Monkey Garage as the shop got its own Discovery Channel show, Fast and Loud. Despite none of the subsequent seasons of the show achieving the success of the first, the program was popular enough to spawn two spin-offs, a merchandise line and more. Richard confirmed that the show had come to an end in a December 2020 appearance on the Joe Rogan Experience. Richard's Garage Rehab was also quietly stopped in mid-2019 after just two seasons, marking the end of Richard's TV career for the time being. Now you must be wondering why two seemingly popular shows were cancelled within so little time. To get an answer to that, it's necessary to know more about the workplace dynamics at Gas Monkey Garage where most of the filming took place. In the earlier seasons of Fast and Loud, Richard would travel the United States with his lead mechanic, Aaron Kaufman, in search of dilapidated cars with potential, with the goal being to restore the vehicles and sell them on for a profit. Although Richard and Aaron succeeded most of the time, Richard's domineering personality caused plenty of clashes at the garage among his staff members. Many a time, employees who argue with Richard found themselves out of work which became something of a running joke for viewers, until Aaron announced that he too was leaving the show. In a scripted but very emotional episode, Aaron broke the news to Richard, who appeared devastated. The hardworking lead mechanic also left fans heartbroken with his decision, and as often happens, some fans began blaming Richard for Aaron's departure. But who wouldn't blame Richard though? He single-handedly fired some promising talents on the show due to an argument, even though some have been reported to be fake and acted just to get more views. The rumours that Richard caused Aaron's departure later died down after Aaron himself revealed that he left due to professional and personal differences, after pressure from the show's producers to overwork himself. The renowned mechanic said Richard's fast and loud was hindering his creativity as he wished to explore more. Aaron has gone on to start his own company after anchoring some TV shows himself. The clashes at Gas Monkey Garage didn't just end with Aaron Kaufman. Richard once fired the duo mechanic who worked with him after a brief encounter. Tom Smith and Jordan Butler made headlines for one of these encounters when TMZ reported that they had been dismissed following a dispute over a fan touching one of Richard's cars. Tom claimed that he and Jordan were fired when Richard, using foul language, ordered a fan who suffered from cystic fibrosis to get away from his car. Upon telling Richard to chill out using the F-word, Tom was dismissed along with Jordan. Richard later claimed that he had nothing but problems with the two mechanics, who later found work in other car shops and went on to appear in Misfit Garage. 
The 2014 incident was largely swept under the carpet, but it didn't take long for the drama to take its toll on the company's reputation. Apparently, Misfit Garage is just another Richard's show, and the issue between Richard and the duo mechanic was nothing but a stunt. Richard Rawlings has been running his shows in some way that makes viewers want to abandon the show. So it's self-explanatory that his shows only record huge success after premiering, and once he starts with his usual dramatic ways of firing cast members, fans pull out, leaving Richard no other option than to end the shows. Now, if you're a fan of the show Garage Rehab, you'll know the show was Richard's attempt to do his own take on home makeover shows. By providing business consultation, financial assistance, and equipment, he and his team helped out struggling garages and gave them a second breath of life, as well as much needed publicity. Can at least we say the show was real? Richard was undoubtedly living from paycheck to paycheck when he built Gas Monkey Garage from the ground up. So he and his team indeed helped garage owners across the country who reached out for help. It's been reported that each show gives the garage a generous $100,000 loan, but with unknown interest rates, to help the business owners get back on their feet. In one memorable episode, Richard struck up a $200,000 deal to have complete control while renovating the garage, but it's unknown if the owners repaid the debt or if it was just another gimmick. A lot of emphasis was placed on the importance of a garage being clean and presentable for it to make money, with the audience of Garage Rehab soon noticing that most of these overhauls were merely aesthetic. When the controversy became too much to ignore, Richard and the channel did some post-transformation episodes for skeptical viewers to find out what had happened to each shop. As it happened, most of the garages had returned to their former state, meaning that the artificial changes did nothing, which led to viewers considering Garage Rehab one of the least trustworthy car shows. It seems Richard is more of a fiction actor than a reality actor. Now, aside from the obvious tricks Richard and show producers played on the viewers, unnecessary dramas were also part of what ended Garage Rehab. The garage owners were always depressed or had some other attitude problems, which would make them argue a lot with hosts, by the end of which, things would just miraculously work out. I mean, you just can't argue with everyone and things work out just fine. The unnecessary dramas led to negative reviews from viewers. Although the producers toned things down in the second season, it was too late, and the show failed to pull in enough viewers to merit a third season. Now that the show has ended, many fans are of the opinion that Richard was the cause of Garage Rehab and Fast and Loud being cancelled with his unnecessary dramas and temper. Truth is, Richard is one of the determining factors of what led to the drop in views, and it's normal to connect his overbearing personality and harshness to the abrupt end of the shows, but there is no official statement from the channels or other show producers that he is to be blamed for the end of Garage Rehab. Perhaps if Richard should have learned a few lessons from his first show with the unnecessary dramas and clouts, maybe Garage Rehab will still be airing, and we will still get to see some of the genuine auto garages that need help to keep functioning. So, do you feel Richard can come up with another show idea, team up with some dope mechanics, and convince another channel to air the show?